what you're looking at is a product called Cubits, and each one of these is a little robot block that enables us to connect them together to build different kinds of robots. There are 17 different types of Cubits overall divided into three categories. Black ones like this guy here are sense Cubits. They tell our robot what to do. Transparent ones like this one uh, do things. They spin around, light up, make sounds. And all the brightly colored cubits are called think cubits. Those modify our robots and make them perform different kinds of actions. Cubits connect together using these little magnetic faces. There's no wrong way to connect with cubits, so it makes it very easy, very simple for kids to start building robots on their own. When we combine three of the right cubits together, we can create robots without any programming whatsoever. Because it's a modular system, we can swap out pieces for different kinds of robots to create different things, like this little robot here that follows my hand as it gets closer to objects. We can also introduce things like our think cubits, which modify the system. So this guy here, instead of accelerating towards objects, will now decelerate when it senses an object. So as it gets closer, it will come to a stop. This is one way that we can start to introduce things like computational thinking and coding concepts to young kids so that we can create a fun and compelling learning play experience.